contact Jeff Gordon involved Jeff Burton is there heavy hit by the 77 car Sam Hornish he is out of his car Jeff Gordon is yet to come out now he is climbing out of the car I say we're done for the day it's a very fast part of the racetrack as you come out of turn nine you're wide open anything happens there's there is room to avoid it but obviously these guys are in a position uh, not to do that and Sam Horner's out, car taking out. a huge lick. All of these guys are out of the car. That's a good thing. See, we saw Jeff Burton on the other side of the guardrail. I'll show you what happened here a moment ago on lap 61. Here's Sam Horner's racing with Casey Kane as they come out of the corner. Oh, looks like yep. Casey got loose and tried yep. to correct it. Got into Sam and goodness gracious. What just as we saw the other day. Wow. Huge lick by Jeff Gordon. It's good to see him get out of his car and Sam Hornish. Both of those cars hit really? extremely hard on that second impact. Gordon head on into the Armco barrier. We saw this happen with Jason Leftworth's car the other day get thrown back and wow. Jeff Gordon wide open, nowhere to go. It's good to see those guys get out of the car. Joey Logano just missing the inside of the 77 car when he came by. Right along with Jeff Gordon here. Be ready, folks. This is hard. Ooh. And just no time to do anything. And there's no safer barrier there. That's just an Armco barrier, steel barrier. Fortunately, Jeff able to get the helmet off and walk away. Hard, hard lick here. Yeah, tough day for Jeff. Here are the drivers now involved in the crash. Jeff Gordon, Sam Hornish, Jeff Burton, the three primary ones. Uh, Andy Lally got some damage. Casey Kane was slid off the track and initiated that when the car got loose. And Joey Logano got some sheet metal damage trying to get by the inside of Sam Hornish. Now let's update the pit stop strategy here. We were talking about